Propagating succulents from leaf is good fun and super rewarding. But it is quite common for succulent leaves to fail and not grow a leaf baby. My plant nursery grows a lot of its stock from leaves and every year I grow tens of thousands of different succulents this way. Over the years I've seen leaves fail for many different reasons and in this video I'm going to share the most common ones. So I have a video on this already where I list succulent plant types that do not propagate very well from leaf. The link to this video is in the description. Many different plants fall into the succulent group but that doesn't mean they all reproduce from leaves. While some have over 90% success rate and will grow leaf babies with no extra input from you, others may need a bit more attention and help. And then there are some that will not grow from leaf no matter what you do. Most succulents will have growing seasons during which they propagate easily. In my personal experience, most succulents will grow leaf babies fast in spring and summer, but this could be different based on where in the world you are. Many succulents will show you when they are actively growing and this is usually the best time to propagate them. I also have a separate video demonstrating what growing versus dormant succulents look like. Not many succulents will grow from leaf in winter, though there are some such as Aeonium and even some Echeveria if you keep them warm enough. But in my opinion, it's just best to wait till spring when all succulents are actively growing, it's fairly warm and days are getting longer, providing the much needed light. While there are succulents that will produce a leaf baby even when the leaf breaks, it is generally best to try and take the whole leaf off the stem. The leaf should come off in one piece and nothing of it should be left on the stem. Let me show you how this looks on different succulents. Many many succulents are incredibly easy to propagate from leaves and will grow a leaf baby regardless of conditions. I've had leaf babies germinate under the seat of my car, in the garage, under tables, during weeks of rain and weeks of heat waves. But sadly not all succulents are this tolerant and some cultivars will have leaves rot if the conditions are not great. My advice here would be to leave the leaves in an empty tray and place them in a bright but shaded spot until you see the leaf babies emerge. I propagate all my leaves, even the easy ones like this and pot them up once the leaf baby resembles the mother plant and ideally has some roots as well. A lot of succulent leaves can be placed on top of potting mix but again some cultivars may rot if the mix gets wet. If you want to stay on the safe side use the empty tray method, it is very effective. Again, loads of succulents will be just fine when exposed to direct hot sun, but in some cases this can happen. The water in the leaves can heat up and if they are on a dark surface they can quite literally cook. When I propagate leaves, in spring they are under 30% shade cloth, but in summer I put them under 50-70%. to 70%. It's pretty common to get temperatures over 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit where I am and while the temperature will not kill the leaves, exposure to direct sun when this hot can. If you don't have a shade cloth, place the leaves in bright shade outdoors.
Many pests are attracted to succulent leaves, especially when there's new growth happening. Even tiny pests such as aphids or mealybugs can kill freshly emerged leaf babies. And then there's bigger ones such as slugs or snails that can devour all of the leaf baby in one sitting. You may want to check your leaves every couple of days to make sure nothing is attacking them. And that is it for today. If you can think of any other reasons, do let us know in the comments. To learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you so very much for watching.